The Haunted Playground in Alabama. Come closer, children, as I tell you a tale of sadness and laughter from beneath the veil. Tucked away behind the historic Maple Hill Cemetery, you'll find a depression in a natural clove nestled at the bottom of the rocky hillside. There sits a playground. It's not an overly impressive park, but it is pretty in the daylight and surrounded by shady beech trees. There are some swings and toddler-sized play equipment and a covered pavilion with picnic benches. Not to mention, lots of kids climb some of the rocks and enjoy an elevated view from the top. Here is some Huntsville history so we know more about the haunted playground we're getting ourselves into. In 1811, Huntsville became the first incorporated town in Alabama. The city was enjoying rapid growth thanks to the cotton fields and strategic position along the Memphis and Charleston Railroad line, becoming the first railway to link the Atlantic sea coast with the lower Mississippi River. Maple Hill Cemetery was founded in 1822, a year that Huntsville was crazy with activity. In 1900 to 1902, Lincoln Mill Village, the Merrimack Manufacturing Company, Dallas Mills, and Lowe Mill were all open. Mill owners actively encouraged the use of children as a prime source of labor, and Huntsville newspapers praised the mills for teaching the kid work ethics. In Alabama, almost one out of every four mill workers was a child. There were lots of accidents involving children. In 1918, the Spanish flu killed at least 50 million people worldwide, with over 400 scumming in Madison County, September of 1918. Many were children, hospital beds were filled, and doctors were working long shifts in hopes of easing some of the patient's misery. Many patients were treated at home with large quarantine signs on the doors, a practice which resulted in the disease spreading through the entire families. Bodies were often stacked on wagons and hauled to morgues by horses. To try to prevent spreading the disease, parents cautioned children to leave the windows closed. This rhyme was a reminder. I had a bird. Its name was Enza. I opened the window and in flew Enza. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, the deadly flu arrived in Alabama by the way of Huntsville. Within 10 days, it had spread to the general population. The Alabama Department of Public Health Quoted on October 5th article from the Birmingham News Report, cases of Spanish influenza and increased to more than 1,100 in Huntsville. The land where the playground stands today was more where dozens of child remains were unearthed. An autopsy of the bodies revealed signs of malnourishment and abuse suggesting that the children were subjected to prolonged period of cruelty before being murdered. To commemorate the death of their loved ones, the community donated funds to construct a playground at the exact same spot. Maple Hill Cemetery was filling up. Orb-like flashes of light 
sounds of children's laughter, slings that spring by themselves consistently with no burdens, pictures taken by visitors and ghost hunters, shows orbs and mist around the hot of children, some even seen eliminated all around areas of the playground specifically on the moving swings and going down the slide. Others have reported the sounds of mothers calling out to their children and eerily enough standing above the park. Some have reported seeing the ghostly figure of a man staring down at the playground. So could this be the killer that once terrorized the town? Watching his victims where he left them? Between the years 1945 and 1955, the Outer Banks were home to a limestone quarry, where the extraction of the limestone, large pits were created, becoming cavities for hidden secrets. Local legend has it that during the 1960s, a string of child abductions terrorized the city of Huntsville. With no ransom request for any of the children, many believed the perpetrator was not just abducting, but also killing the children. Eventually, the beliefs were proven correct. When the skull of a child was found in the quarries. Further into the investigation, more skeletal remains were found, among with the corpse of other recently missing children. After the revelation of the bodies, the abductions stopped, but the identity of the killer or anyone else involved was never revealed or confirmed. It also should be noted that although many articles reference this local legend, I personally could not find any primary source as like a newspaper article or anything reliable on the internet to confirm this legend. But the ghostly activities are said to be the most frequent between 10 p.m and 3 a.m. In spite of the haunting stories of Dead Children's Playground, it continues to be a popular hangout for teenagers in the park. In 2007, as the number of available burial plots dwindled, the city of Huntsville attempted to remove sections of the city park as part of the Maple Hill Cemetery expansion project. However, residents of the community were only made known of the expansion plans when the playground equipment and surrounding picnic tables were removed. The lack of communication and disregard of the community led to a public outcry, bringing the expansion to an abrupt end. As demanded by the community, new playground equipment were set up on the very same spot where the original playground was. However, local ghost investigators believe that it was a move to appease the child's spirits that lingers here long after their tragic passing. This is where the children of Mapleville Cemetery go to play. In my opinion, it's a happy place in daytime, a great spot with lots of shade to bring a picnic lunch and just let the kids run and play. But at night, it is still, until the rusty squeak of the swing chains start up, and you realize there's no one else there. The history of Mapleville Cemetery was once the land of Leroy Pope an American planter and early settler of Madison County. In 1822, portions of the town acres of land was sold to the city of Huntsville to establish the city's first public cemetery. However, archaeological evidence 
suggests that the land was a cemetery since 1820, long before its official use by the local authority. Maple Hill Cemetery is also the burial ground of 187 unknown Confederate soldiers, and a number of Union soldiers were perished during the American Civil War from 1861 to 1865. Many of the graves remain unmarked and can be found in the oldest section of the cemetery. Over the late 19th century and early 20th century, the cemetery underwent several rounds of expansion to accommodate the increasing number of burials in Huntsville. In 1924, the Cemetery Commission purchased 59 acres of land from Mr. James B. Stevens for $12,000, tripling the cemetery's size and given its grounds alongside the historic public cemetery. The 7.7-acre large private cemetery holds approximately 10,000 interments, which is about one-eighth the number of burials in the public Maple Hill Cemetery. In 2008 and 2012, Maple Hill Cemetery was added to Alabama Historical Commission's Historic Cemetery Registry and the National Registry of Historic Places, respectfully making it one of the most important landmarks in the city of Huntsville. Maple Hill Cemetery is a home to over 800,000 grave sites. Several were notable members of the United States. This includes five governors of Alabama and five United States Senators. A number of luminaries were also buried at Maple Hill Cemetery, including Albert Russell Erksko, former president of Studebaker. In 1918, Albert purchased 12 acres of land from a nearby residential development and donated it to Maple Hill Cemetery. Faced with an insurmountable debt and having been outed from Studebaker, Albert committed suicide on June 30, 1933. Today, the Grand Mausoleum of the Erskine family, containing the remains of his parents, his wife, and Albert himself, can be found in the cemetery. The annual Maple Cemetery stroll is not exactly a ghost walk, as there are no ghostly apparitions involved. However, it is where history comes to life, as over 75 notable characters from the Huntsville Walk alone, the paths of the cemetery, retelling the past of Huntsville glitz and glamour on this 100 acre graveyard. The event offers a glimpse into the history of Huntsville while giving visitors a look at some of the latest restoration projects in the cemetery. Today the park is closed at night but that hasn't stopped many from going and investigating themselves, hoping to experience a look at the other side. But how about you? Would you take a relaxing stroll in Maple Hill Park between the hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m.? Today, the playground is known to locals as Dead Children's Playground, and the site has accumulated a deep catalog of supernatural associations. However, as the believers would tell it, the swings can often be found to sway by themselves. Spheres of gold ghost light can be seen floating around and even the specters of little kids have been spotted having a little midnight fun. Dead Children's Playground where kids can have the time of their afterlife. 
Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more content. And always remember, y'all stay weird. I just want to